Maybe there's some day in the long future where all the work is being done by robotic devices. But in that case, we should be in such an advanced society where they're creating the wealth for us while we can just do what we want to do. Tell us about Honeybee and some of the things you build here. Our biggest client is NASA. We have placed some important equipment on two of the rovers that are still operating on Mars. Ernie, we're going to start off with a vodka and tonic, please. It would be my pleasure. Here at Honeybee, we invented the first robotic bartender. Exactly. And we are working to develop a robotic surgical tool. The robot can enter through a cavity that's very tiny, so the person has a short recovery time. But it's not just that. The robot can also make very, very tiny movements. The notion is that sometimes you want to do something that's so really, really precise, like a tiny laser cut, let's say. Mm -hmm. Well, this, these devices allow you to change the settings on it so you could propel this device in two inches, but on the output it'll only cut something two thousandths of an inch. Meet the world's first artificial intelligence personal robot. She's your welcome friend at any hour. Good morning, Thomas. Time to get up. Good morning. It seems like you had a good night's sleep. Eight full hours and a good resting heart rate. Thank you. So tell me a little bit about Maya. She's one month old. Uh, we launched it on Kickstarter about a month ago. Come on. Let's, let's go into the kitchen. It's a general robot. So when you build one robot, they can do a lot of different things. And by doing that, you just install different apps on Maya. Maya, take a picture. Maya, what is this? It is a remote control. Hello. Bon lets you send handwritten notes in your own handwriting or any handwriting you choose on personalized stationery uh, from any device. And we build software that can learn all of the nuance of how you write, or you can pick from other different kinds of handwriting styles. Now when you sign something with your hand, it's to show that you, you've given the product a human touch. Is it deception to use a machine to do this for you? No, I, don't, I mean, I don't believe that it's a deceptive practice to use a machine, just like I don't believe it's a deceptive practice to use a machine to communicate when you're far away. Uh, that's called a telephone. I've come across so many people who have been afraid about robotics replacing people. And we've been installing robots here at Honeybee since the early 80s, and I've never seen a job be replaced that did not create at least one or two other jobs. Are you putting the calligraphers of the world out of business? Uh, it's, it's interesting you ask that because we actually staff calligraphers in our company, and we think we create an environment where more people are interested in learning calligraphy. Um, and creating beautiful things. So. Hey, need some help in here? Could you pull up a recipe for chicken curry, please? I'll walk you through it step by step. Thanks. You don't see the future being filled with robots that are indistinguishable from humans. I don't think that's the right way to look at it. That's our first prototype out there. I mean, we 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 built it at the beginning like a like human, but we didn't see any value from doing that. She's good at things like remember five thousand people faces. I can't do that. They're going to be good at things that they're good at, we're going to be good at things we're good at. Look, robotic techniques now are advancing so much. In the end, the robots are going to win. But this will free people up to do other things. I'm not afraid of it. We built them. Good night.